welcome to this spectacular Chateau de Pernon, an 18th century jewel in the heart of the French countryside. When we found her in 2020, she lay in peril. Share our journey as we battle to save her, uncovering her secrets, sharing her past, and working hard to secure her future. What's interesting up here on the Dersier Etage of the Chateau is that the floor layout is very similar to that of the Premier Etage. And what that tells us is that the Dersier Etage was not primarily used for domestic staff as in many chateaus. There are four large bedrooms on each of the corners which each have domestic rooms next to them. So we know that the people or the guests that stayed in these rooms were important enough to have their own staff. And it might have either been family members or the chateau at one point in time was used for the chasse, so the hunt. And there is a huge forest out the front of the chateau that is still used for the chasse today. And so there may have been guests coming to stay at the chateau that stayed in these rooms and had their and traveled with their domestic staff who stayed there with them. But as you can see now, the Dersier Montage is pretty much completely destroyed. The issue with the roof and constant water infiltration means that this floor is completely unusable. But for us, it's actually been a bit of a treasure trove because over the years, as the use of the chateau started to, to be reduced, many items that were broken or discarded or no longer in use were actually brought up to the Dersier Montage and stayed here. And when we first arrived, what we did is we categorized all the items that we found and allocated separate rooms to each of the, the items. So we created a toilet room, a ceramics room, a religious room, picture frames, fireplace material, carpets, and that would allow us then to piece back together pieces that uh, belong together or that were of some significant importance historically or for the chateau or just general, of general interest. And now that the works on the eastern side of the roof are drawing to a close, we're going to have to clean up the western wing of the Dersium Etage so that the works can start there. What they need to do is they need the rooms empty so they can put down a bash or a tarp to protect the Premier Etage from water damage and from dust actually during the works. So it's going to take us a while. We've got a lot up here. But today we're working on what we call the ceramics room, which I think was an old séchoir, an old drying room for fruit and vegetables from the potager. And we're taking all the items downstairs into the salle à manger and having a look at what we've actually got and what we'd like to keep. So let me take you for a little tour of where we've been storing the ceramics in our ceramics room. So this cute little room is where we've been storing all the ceramics for the last two years. They're items that we found all over the chateau. A lot of them were here on the Deuxième Etage, some were up in the Grenier or the attic. And so this was originally a séchoir, so it was used for drying fruit and vegetables from the potager. And it kind of became perfect storage actually for our ceramics. And so we've already taken a lot down, but what we're doing is we're looking at each item, we're cleaning it up and we're seeing what's valuable or historically important to the chateau and we'll keep an inventory of everything that we have and hopefully there's some items that we can pop back into service and be lovely to have them back around the chateau on display again. But we've got lots of, this is where we've put all our jugs, lots of beautiful water jugs. As you can see, many uh, have seen better days, but slowly, piece by piece, we're actually finding lots of broken pieces and some of the pieces we've already reunited various broken pieces, which is enabling us to restore them and bring them back to life, give them a second life.
this now turned into an impromptu dosimetage tour. So I'll show you all the rooms that I was telling you about where we've stored various things. And this actually was our carpet room, but the roof had a huge leak and everything got really wet. So we've taken them all outside and dried and some of them didn't make it and others have gone back into storage. But this is actually one of the large bedrooms that I was talking about. So on the four corners of the chateau, two on each wing, there's these two large bedrooms, exactly the same size as the bedrooms on the premier etage with two entrances, one to a private dressing room and one which goes to the entrance for the bedroom to the domestic staff. So as I mentioned, these four rooms both have rooms for domestic staff. So they were either important family members or important guests, but here you can really see the extent of the damage up here. Uh, the ceiling has fallen in. This is actually on the eastern side, so the side where we're currently redoing the roof. So all the windows have actually come out and they've been boarded up and they're actually being restored. You can see that the floor has a plastic tarp or a bash on it. And actually, while we're here, I'll show you, underneath this more recent wallpaper is some of the remnants of the original decor of this room. And so let me bring you over to one of those sections and I'll show you, it's really quite cool. So from this angle, you can actually see in this room two areas where underneath the wallpaper is some of the original decor. And so it has this hand painted paneling effect on the base. And then there's just the tiny remnants of, it's got a velvet finish border. And then the, the print on the wall has actually been imprinted on the wall. It doesn't look like it's a paper. So we're in the process of doing a diagnostic actually on the whole interior of the chateau, which is classified with the monument historic. So uh, requires a diagnostic before we do any work and we will discover no doubt more of these original features. But every time we do, it's so incredibly exciting. Uh, the other interesting thing here is the alcove. So the bed was in here and you can see there's still the curtain rail. So there would have been a lovely big curtain over here to close the bed in for some privacy. It's a really sweet room, this one actually. We're still here on the eastern wing. This is one of the small rooms. On the premier etage, the room underneath this was made into a bathroom. I would guess that it was either a domestics room or it was a dressing room or storage. You can see here that we've, well, our artisans actually have pulled away some stone to check the health of the wood behind here. And this is the structural beams for the chateau's roof. And if you want some bad news, that's the condition of the wood. So like it just completely falls apart in my hand. This is like 250 years of wear and tear. They're the challenges that lay ahead of us. Anyway, let's move on and have a look at the other rooms. I wanted to show you up here on the Dersier Etage is I think Tim's favorite part of up here. He created a toilet room. Babe, how many toilets are there? Uh, 21. He found 21 commodes and he's put them all back together and we, our toilet room actually has, um, the ceiling has fallen in and so he's in the process of reuniting each of the stands with the basins 
they've been scattered all over the Jersey Mitage and the roof actually because we were using them to collect water and when things in the middle of a storm get quite desperate we've just been reaching for whatever we can find and quite often it's a toilet basin so there we are all the toilets of Bernal. So on the second floor on the Jersey Mitage they never had plumbing and so these little commodes that would have been put in each room would have actually been quite valuable and quite important and we've got a huge collection of them. They date right back to the construction of the chateau. Some of them are 18th century, some of the metal ones are a little younger than that, they're late 19th century and even some that probably were first used in the early 20th century before they, before they went out of fashion with plumbing. Which ones are the oldest ones? Well, I think definitely these more ornate wooden ones. The most ornate one, because not only does it have an external lid, but it also has its own internal lid for super comfort and privacy. And obviously, um, I mean, it's quite a work of art, really. And I imagine in its day, it would have been quite expensive. And whoever had the privilege of using this would have ensconced themselves on it at night and then the following morning some poor servant would have had to empty it but not out the window into the moat because we know that the dry moat here at Pernon was used for growing herbs and vegetables and there are signs on the windows up here saying please don't empty the chamber pots into the moat because we'll be eating from the food that's grown down and there. Going to the water source as well. Yeah. This was actually our toilet room, so where all the toilets were stored. But as you can see, the roof here collapsed and then a heap of the wooden beams, uh, which were rotted, all came in as well. So they've put up a brace. They've almost finished repairing this, actually. They've replaced the huge wooden support beam. Yeah, this right here is the reality of how bad things are up here on the Dersey Mitage. But let's keep moving on. This is a wonderful room. This is our chair room. We've already gone through this room multiple times. A lot of the chairs that were too degraded to keep or didn't have any real historical significance we've already cleaned up but there's some really cute items in here I don't know if you can see this lovely prayer chair what's interesting up here as well is to look at the fabrics and to understand if these fabrics appear anywhere else on items that we've found in the chateau so we actually have uh, also kept all the ciel de lis and the beldecans that have been found and under la all the layers of fabric the last layer is the original hopefully on most in the original Fabric, so we can see what the original colour schemes and fabrics used, wallpapers and so on were in the chateau. But for example, it's just a long process that happens slowly. But for example, this chair has got this absolutely beautiful scene on it. So I'm not sure. I'm going to check and see if I can find that fabric somewhere else and see if it is an original fabric of the chateau. But these things take time and our architect once said to us, we're waking up an old lady who's been asleep for a long time. We need to wake her up slowly. And that comment really resonates with us. And that's why it's so important that we hold on to everything that we've found here and meticulously go through and find the original wallpapers and fabrics to really understand what the Chateau Decor was like when it was first installed here 250 years ago.
This room has all our fireplace paraphernalia. So you can see all the fire and irons and various stands and utensils, anything related to fires. And the chimneys was put here, except for this. I have no idea what this is here. It's a lovely wooden border. We will find out, we'll get to the bottom of that, but yes, the fireplace room. This room actually still had a bed in it. Uh, the bed is still here and we used this as our religious room. Many of the rooms had religious iconography sitting above the bed and various statuary and scattered around the, the chateau. And so that was all stored here. And right now it seems to be the games room. There's all sorts of little children's games that are here at the moment. This little room has never been used for storage. If you've been following us for a while, this is what we used to call the little room of horrors. So we're right underneath the worst section of the roof and during storms, the rain would come straight down behind the plaster, cascading down this wall and onto the Grand Escalier, which is right, which is just directly below us here. Yeah, I made many films close to tears in this room about the little room of horrors. But actually in this room recently, a far more interesting story has been taking place and it involves this huge hole in this wall, which I might add wasn't there three weeks ago and some creatures that came to visit. But let's leave it at that for the moment because we have documented the whole story of why this huge hole in this wall appeared and who was there and why we had to get them out. This section of the Dersey Hermitage is by far one of my favourites. This is where we've stored all the prints, paintings and frames that we've found here at the Chateau. And once again, we've categorised them so that we can start uh, working out what we have here. So we've categorised them by portraits, landscapes, children. We've got lots of hunting scenes, religious themes, uh, historical stories, and then of course some beautiful gilded frames. And so they've been carefully categorised and when we have a chance we will go through them more thoroughly and work out what's important to the chateau and hopefully return some of these beautiful pieces to the chateau walls once again. This little room is quite sweet actually. So it has storage which is actually in quite good condition compared to the ceiling which has completely fallen in but this was a linen press and it still has all the handwritten markings for what went where one of them this one i love the most it's so sweet it says these sheets are for women only who are invited guests staying less than two nights so well organized I guess the thing was that sheets didn't get washed that often uh, actually and so they kept a record of how of how many times sheets would get used before they washed them. I guess guests didn't get the right to clean sheets. But here also sheets for guests, sheets for monsieur, sheets for monsieur. Very very sweet look at how the house functioned back in the day. This room has been our bedroom, not our bedroom to sleep in, 
but the broom that we've stored all the beds. The chateau actually has some of the original, its original beds, and we found the hand-drawn drawings, which are testament to the fact that the, the beds are original. These children's beds, not so much. But yeah, so all the beds were stored here. And actually, in fact, this is the room where we found the Napoleon Trois couch that we actually use down in the Grand Salon at the moment and really looking forward to having restored. So a little treasure from here that we've been able to reuse in the chateau in daily life. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a lot of bats up in here as well. This little room, again, would have been a domestic's room and quite a high ranking member of the staff here at Pernon because they had, not only did they have their own room, they had a fireplace and in recent years, a sink was added in this room. So, ooh, water, what a luxury. But what we've been putting here, and we've actually moved a lot of it out today because we're going to use, this is going to be the new toilet root storage room. And so here we put all the glass and metalware that we found. So really cute little, service items and so on. So again, it's just a matter of us putting everything that we find together so that we can reunite pieces that belong together and so on. What have you got? Oh, okay. Located today, a little glass dish with Pernon engraved on it. That's sweet. It is our collection that we've already brought down from the Dozier Metage, and we've actually successfully married up quite a few items. These really sweet little soap dishes with their lids. This actually, I know we have a, a pair of this somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, but we will be able to find it. These lovely old Limoges candle holders have been reunited as a pair. There's just lots of stuff for us to go through. We found a new home for them in an entresol behind the salle manger here. And uh, poor Tobes has been pressed into service to clean it out. So I'm gonna go see how he's going. How are you going Tobes? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Is this your best, job? best job of all time. I've uh, given it a good dust and vacuum and wipe and uh, yeah, it's ready for, for all the ceramic pieces to be safely stored. Thanks, you're amazing. Avec plaisir. <laughs> Have it, a little impromptu tour of our Dersia Metage. There's still lots of other rooms that we store finds that uh, are not here on the Dersia Metage. For example, we have a fabric room on the Premier Etage where all the fabrics that we've found have been kept. Then out in the Comma or one of the, the outbuildings, we have moved more beds, large pieces of wood brasserie with the original wallpaper, lots of Ciel de Lis or Beldecans for the beds and some luggage and so on. All that for another time. We will do a discoveries uh, video for you. But uh, yeah, today was really just an impromptu tour of the Jersey Metage. What's this? I have no idea. Somebody's bookkeeping. Um, but still lots more to discover here. But as I said, we are currently cleaning out the second floor or cleaning up the second floor, I should say, to enable the second phase of roof works to start, which is a phase that will absolutely ensure that Pernod is protected. And whilst this Dersia Metage is completely destroyed, one day, now that she'll be protected, we will ensure that she's restored as well. Mm -hmm.